if you're in the HR or benefits field like me, there's certainly no shortage of acronyms that we use every day. There's FSA, HSA, HCM, FMLA, IBNR, PHI, the list goes on and on. Well, there's a new acronym that you may have heard of recently called ICRA. ICRA stands for Individual Coverage Health Reimbursement Arrangement. This is a new type of benefit arrangement uh, that came on the scene in 2020. And chances are, again, if you're in the HR benefit space, you've either been approached about this strategy or you likely will be in the near term. So we here at The Benefit Company, we've created a three-part video series to help you understand how these plans work, uh, different use cases for employers, and some other overall uh, considerations for employers when thinking about the ICRA concept. So I want to help you answer two basic questions today. Number one, what is an ICRA? And number two, how does an ICRA work? And again, this will be very high level. So uh, number one, what is an ICRA? ICRA was introduced in 2020. Um, it is a tax efficient uh, reimbursement account for individual health insurance premiums and potentially also other uh, health insurance costs. Um, it's an alternative to traditional group plans and they can be offered on a standalone basis or in conjunction with a traditional group plan uh, so long as um, one class of employee is not offered both plans. So you have to choose uh, one plan for each class of employee. Now, how does it work? Um, in very simple terms, and again, there's lots of nuances here depending on the administrator you work with and the specific designs of your plan. Uh, but at a high level, again, uh, the employer will design the plan, which includes the eligibility requirements and the reimbursement limits. Employees will choose an individual health plan that best fits their needs. That's usually done with the help of an enrollment advisor uh, or an education-based technology platform to help them choose that plan. The employees will then submit claims for reimbursement, and the employer will be able to reimburse those claims on a tax-efficient basis. So let's talk about tax for just a second. Generally speaking, the tax benefits of an ICRA will be similar to what you're used to with a group plan. Uh, that being the employer contribution is tax deductible to the employer, that contribution is received tax free from the employer um, to the employee, and employees are able to pay for tax, uh, excuse me, for health insurance on a pre tax basis. Now, there's some nuances to that depending on which administrator um, that you use to help you with this, um, but they're generally similar to what you would see in the group market. So hopefully that gives you a, a good introduction to ICRA. Uh, obviously lots of details that we can get into. Next time we're gonna talk about several different use cases for ICRA in terms of the different types of employers um, that might benefit the most from these types of approaches. So stay tuned for more on that. And in the meantime, have a great day.